I was very musical because my father had seven brothers and all of them were musicians. Sterling Betancourt grew up in Trinidad. In the late 1940s, there were intense conflicts and rivalries between local steel bands on the island. They used to have stoned the police. They used to be stoning them and the police have to, down the hill, they have, they have to run. So they used to leave those people on the hills alone to, to play their pan on, on the street without permission. To calm the situation and unite the musicians, it was decided to send one band from the whole of Trinidad, the Trinidad All Steel Percussion Orchestra, to the Festival of Britain. We knew nothing about the Festival of Britain, and it's only that, you know, they, they say, well, we're going to the Festival of Britain, and we say, okay. But then they said, well, listen, we're going to collect money from the people of Trinidad, and everyone donated, and they call it Operation Britain. We, we went on, on a banana boat, actually, called the, the San Mateo. London is the place for me. This lovely city, you can go to France or America, India, Asia or Australia, but you must come back to London City. I mean, imagine you're coming from a small island, you know, you haven't got traffic like you haven't got anything, you know, and you, you see these red buses, you know, going all over the place, you know. They take you here and they take you there. My God, how am I going to find my way around this place? You know, it's so enormous. Our impression was, you know, this is a, a wonderful place. At night, when you have nothing to do, you can take a walk down Shafri Avenue. There you would laugh and talk and enjoy the breeze and admire the beautiful scenery of London. This is, is at the festival hall, and uh, you see the, the people there, they're standing around. This is Nathaniel Griffith, the, the bandmaster. Um, this one is me here. Well, that day, it was very funny, because we purposely did not paint the drums. They leave it all rusty, and we're looking like dustbin, you know. And, and we, we, we set up and, you know, and, and, and people start to laugh, you know. They, they giggling. <laughs> what these black men gonna do with these old dustmen? <laughs> When we start up, everybody was shocked. They, they were looking to see where the music coming from and said, wow, this is black magic. And, and we had the, the West Indians who were there, they were, they were dancing and it was very nice. And when we finished playing, they want to know where the music coming from. Have they got a recording below there or, or something like, like that? And it, it was fantastic. You can see it young and, and old and, and, and they were clapping and, you know, we, we got a good reception. It, it was very nice. How much steel pan music had been heard in Britain before you came? None, none. Nobody ne never knew nothing ab about steel pan. No, no, they didn't know anything ab ab about that. That really opened op op out the, the, the art form of, of colored people and in, in, in Britain. So it, it was worthwhile, the, 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 the festival. And I hear they have it every hundred years, huh? Sixty years ago, I want the whole world to know in 1951, for the Festival of Britain, the Steel Band Association said a Steel Band must go. 
After many suggestions, the name of Steel Van Daspo. So Trinidad all steel percussion orchestra. That is the song that made me remember. I said Trinidad all steel percussion orchestra. That is the song that remains forever and ever. <laughs> 